So we're walking through the book of Revelation. Chapter 1. Check out the Revelation, Revelation playlist. It is down below underneath this video in the description area. Chapter 1, verse 19. Well, we'll start on 18, even though I've already read this and it's in the uh, uh, part five. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and death. Now, this is God. This is the Lord Jesus Christ. John, the writer of uh, Revelations. Um, had seen the Lord, and this is what the Lord had told him personally. The Lord told him that he is alive forever. The Lord told him that he has the keys to hell and death. Verse 19. Write these things. So the Lord is telling John to write these things down into this wonderful book of Revelations that we're reading now. Write these things which thou has seen. So the Lord has actually shown these things uh, to John in visions and has caught him up and has taken him places to see uh, what he is writing and which we're going to uh, read and experience uh, throughout Revelation. And the things which shall be hereafter and the things that which are so number 20 the mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand john saw seven stars in the right hand of the lord and the seven golden candlesticks the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. So, John saw the Lord, and the Lord was holding seven stars in his hands, and he was holding seven golden candlesticks also, too, in his, probably in his other hand, or maybe in the same hand, who knows, in, in his right hand. So the seven golden candlesticks are, are, are actually churches. And you may go to one of these churches. The seven stars are the angels. Well, there's one, I, I'm guessing there's probably one angel for each church. So one star for each golden candlestick. That's pretty powerful. Does the church, what do you think? Does the church that you go to the candlestick, that the golden candlestick that you go to, does it have one of these stars to go along with it? What do you think? We're going to be studying, going through um, um, the, uh, the seven churches and um, exploring, you know, what they were doing at the time. But these seven churches, if you live in a large enough city, these same seven churches re are represented by some of the churches that you go to in your own city today. So this is uh, not only for back then, but this is for uh, now also too. So that was verses 19 and 20 of chapter 1 of Revelation. And if you enjoy this uh, series or this video, please give a thumb up, uh, a like. Um, put it Like the video so others can see it. And feel free to leave a comment and you can uh, leave prayer requests in those comments also too. And I will pray uh, for your um, situation. Remember, it's all about having a personal relationship with God. So press into him, talk to him all day long, as much as you can, because he's definitely there with you at all times. And if you're not a born again Christian, you can easily become a born again Christian with the prayer that's also below this video in the description area.
It is the prayer that starts out with Father. And this is how it goes. And you read it. And then you find a church, uh, a, a Holy Spirit-filled church that, re that believes in the entire Bible and teaches the Holy, the Holy Bible. It says, Father, I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for my sins. I believe that he died, that, that you died, he died and was resurrected and is coming back to judge the living and dead. Father, I repent. Forgive me of all my sins. Come into my heart and make me your child. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. You guys have a great day. And the, 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 the book of Revelation gets very exciting. It's about what's getting ready to happen um, in your lifetime. So tune in to it. Have a great day.